Hello, I'm Grace Vandenberg. It's a new year, and with that often comes new, fresh, and enticing goals. How to achieve your goals is the question we will cover today. Goals need to be methodical, well thought out, and practical, with practical expectations associated. Otherwise, we're setting ourselves up. For a fall, and disappointment. Otherwise, our goals can be so big, we don't know where to start, and so it never happens. Only remaining a thought within the sphere of our consciousness, and an activated words upon our lips, stuck in a rut, replaying the same dream over and over, dying without achieving. We don't want that for ourselves. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here today. Applaud yourself for taking the first step. You've made thought and action to learn to try. Now you have a few more steps to go before your journey has thus begun. Not everyone allows themselves that kindness to self. The number one rule regarding motivation comes down to one thing: your thinking. How you think creates how you feel. It's fuel, food, energy, nourishment. So, if you want to feel motivated, you've got to get the right thoughts in place, filling up the avenues of your mind. So you can start feeling this way. Motivation is a positive feeling, which effectively births excitement. When we're excited about anything, we're hopeful. And excitement creates hope. Hope creates happiness. Happiness creates positivity. All of which, in unison, plays its part in developing motivation. If you set your sights on something, anything, <laughs> it really doesn't matter what it is. You'll be inspired, motivated to get up and go and jump right in, which leads to action. We conversate with people almost every day of our life. Why don't we conversate with ourselves? A serious question. I'm really asking. Oh. Right, because people who talk to themselves are crazy, according to societal standards. But let me ask you this: What exactly has society given you? Do they pay your bills, nurse you when you're sick at home? Are they there to encourage you to fulfill your truest potential? Are they leveraging you into the next and greater stage of your life? If any of these answers are no, then they must be rendered null and void, unimportant, and placed in their place. Forget all the things you've learned growing up, and hardwire your brain with a newer, updated, fresher data, data that's accurate, and let it be your resolve. If you don't have someone in your life that's on your side, who has your back, who encourages you to try and try again, and picks you up at the hardest of times, I've been there. I know how hard it is. Scratch that. Impossible. How impossible it can be to be self-motivated. It feels like a task too large, powerful, overwhelming to conquer. Then be your own belief system, be your own encouragement, inspiration, words of kindness, words of praise. Put your success down in black and white, an undebatable piece of fact. Meaning, write out your goals. Each day, track your efforts, failing successes on your journey towards achieving the overall goals you seek. Each effort, failings, or successes, it shows your application and work. 
That all by itself is success in itself. That success should not be overlooked, neglected, or go unappreciated. Remind yourself each day of your performance, and be grateful in your own ability to be able. Remember, huge success isn't achieved at one time. People aren't born and become billionaires overnight, unless they are indeed born into an accomplished family. But that aside, that level of success starts off with earning pennies, hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands. That's grown into millions and billions. Each instalment is effectively your stepping stones. Each stepping stone deserves its very own moment of respect. Respect for not what you're going to do, but for what you have taken the time to to do. Perfection doesn't exist, so get that falsehood out of your mind right now. The ideology of perfection will become nothing more than a barrier. Obstacle that is destined to hold you back, and when you're being held back, either by holding yourself back or a legitimate obstacle on your course, it's wasted time, wasted life, wasted effort that's not going to pay off. And remember, in all cases of your realm in life, time is money, time is happiness. Time is effort. Make it all count. Dreaming an ambition and making it happen isn't the same as dreaming a dream and being impractically optimistic. Optimism must come from realistic, methodical, systematic research. All else will grow from there. Now that you're nourished with provocative food for thought. I thus hope. Might I ask you, what are you going to do with it? I'll leave you for now to your considerations. Until next time, I'm Grace Vandenberg.